uh, it's just a, a girl from Krypton and a boy from Daxum. <laughs> Nothing goes Figuring as it out. <laughs> with Monel, yes. Supergirl in the relationship. What is it like working with him on the show? I mean, like I said, with the entire cast, we're all so close and like a family. And Chris especially brings so much humor and light and joy into the set. And that relationship especially, you know, I don't think Kara's ever felt anything like that yeah. before. So it's really important, I think, to her advancement as a woman and her growth to uh, try to balance that with being a superhero and her career that she cares about, you know, and yeah. following her heart. Have you had fun, though, playing, uh, you know, with this relationship on Oh, set? of course. Oh, my God. It's the most fun. He is uh, my favorite person to act with on the show. He's fantastic, so talented and funny. So funny. Um, and I think he brings a lot of life to that character. So I'm sensing a real romance, guys. What about you? <laughs> that she's about to face off camera is marriage soon? Yes. When's that happen? Soon. There's a, there's a guy, she's got this sweet dude, Chris Wood. He's the absolute he best. He is the best. Um, you guys are an adorable couple. And they met in Super World. Yeah, yeah. And you directed you directed one of our episodes. I did, and I remember we thinking, flew like, together. They've, got, they've got such great chemistry. I'm just have I'm literally having the time of my life. I, I feel so cheesy when I talk about it, but like my childhood dream is coming true. And I'm I was such a musical theater geek growing up and like living that out every night, eight shows a week is I couldn't be happier. Mm, congratulations. And it was awesome to see. And and I was sitting next to a dude who was like in tears. Chris Wood had he tears streaming down his face. <laughs> there for the beginning of their relationship, her and Chris Wood. So I think they're an adorable couple. I like him a lot too. He's a really special guy. So I'm sitting there enjoying the fuck out of her, but this motherfucker who's like deep in love, right? <laughs> I cried as well, but this dude was bawling. Like, just flat out like, I'm so proud of her. It's really, really awesome. Know what is. And he goes, I think I've watched those five seconds 37 times now for your good measure. It really is very impressive. I don't know how she does it. Like we get into a mutual fan club. It'd be creepy, like two two fucking dudes talking about this woman like that. Well, one of us is right next to and shit like that. And we're all going, isn't she great? I don't know, it's kind of sweet. Um, Melissa, you are involved in a mental health awareness movement called I Don't Mind. Yes. That works to put a stop to the stigma around mental illnesses. Um, how did you come to be involved um, in I Don't Mind and what are you hoping to achieve? Well, um, my boyfriend, Chris Wood, he has had the idea to start this for the past five years because he sadly lost his father um, due to mental illness. Uh, so it's very near and dear to his heart. It means a lot to him because I think he felt things might have gone differently if there wasn't <laughs> such a stigma around dealing with it or help, getting people help or talking about it. Um, and he grew up in the Midwest, so I think it's, it, it is different mm -hmm. in many different places. But uh, so he wanted to start it. And I have, I think everyone in this room maybe um, either know someone or experience it yourself. Uh, and none of us are immune to it. Mm -hmm. um, our brains are very delicate and fragile and complicated things and you know we both Chris and I believe that you know you should take care of them the way you take care of the rest of your body the way you go to the gym to take care of your your health you should go to a therapist or a counselor to take care of your mind um, and it's not a shameful thing so I've been really involved in helping him come up with you know who we want to target young people, but anyone really, and just get people talking about the way they feel with each other. And oh, being open to listen mm -hmm. and um, be there when someone needs a helping hand. Yeah, and opening the dialogue. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. You know, we just are trying to expand, and, and Chris is really responsible for most of it. He really uh, has kind of spearheaded that, and he does most of it by himself, which is astounding. Um, so I think, you know, he wants to expand as much as he can. In, in 2017, I founded an organization uh, called I Don't Mind that uh, works to reduce the stigma of mental health um, and utilizes the potential evils or good of social media, as you were talking about, um, to try to create an opportunity for people to state how they're feeling. Um, and a phrase that has saved me in the lowest moment in my life, in the deepest depression that I've 
luckily survived, uh, was the only way that I got help after two years of being stuck was admitting that I had a problem and admitting that I wasn't okay. And it took saying to someone who said, how are you, instead of my, you know, BS cover, like, oh, you're good, yeah, I'm great. I said, you know what, I'm actually kind of having a expletive day. And, uh, and that was the beginning. And only by saying, I don't mind it, telling you how I'm actually feeling and beginning the conversation with that phrase was I able to open up and eventually get the help I Hello. Because <laughs> seriously, your mind matters. So talk about it. Thanks for hanging, guys. At I don't mind. It wasn't really just me in a different shirt. Hey guys! Hey guys, it's Melissa. Oh my gosh! And Trish. Trish. She, uh, this one had to go to space. Oh. Oh yeah. She sent you off. Yeah. You needed space. You needed space. Wow. You needed space. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is gonna be happening all day to you guys. Yeah, yeah. This we're gonna thing. take, we're gonna take it with us. Right? <laughs> That's true. I want to come in here the next week. I just really want to hear this. Yeah. Ready? One and a two. Everything is dying. Thank you. This. It's more than you can take. Nothing goes as planned Everything will break and People say goodbye In their own special way Uh, the hands down most romantic wedding I've ever been to. It was beautiful. It looked like it was art directed with an inch of its life. But it was just outside. They used nature and shit like that. But they wrote their own vows. I knew his would be good because he's real clever. He's a funny dude, man. He's good with a turn of phrase and shit. And I've read scripts that he's wrote. He's a really fucking clever writer. So I knew he'd write something powerful. Um, I figured, you know, Melissa, she's used to doing other people's dialogue and stuff like that. That you know, she would fucking be as strong as Chris because she's not known as a writer. Right? She fucking wrote some beautiful vows, bro. I was, I was fucking bawling. And you know, I cry at the fucking drop of it. I cry watching Supergirl. That's true, show. yes. Um, but it was fucking something. That's right. 
It was beautiful, man. Uh, uh, after Everything Melissa did her vows, like, you know, the audience, 50, 60 people or something like that, um, you could hear like a fucking pin drop. But one fucking asshole in the audience yells out, oh, come on, and starts fucking clapping and shit. That was me. Yeah, that's it what I was. Heard. So beautiful. Oh, my God. And then I yelled, you fucking beat that wood. And then uh, he, he didn't beat it, but fuck his was moving as well. It was it was pretty profoundly powerful, man. Like, and, and one of those things where, like, you see somebody starting their journey and shit. And I was sitting with somebody that I've been on the journey with who's been trying to throw me out of the car since day one and shit. But it bonds you a little bit more. You go, like, oh, fuck. Like, I felt a little bit more in love with my wife and stuff. It, it was really sweet. So, That's it. These cats, man, I could have listened to fucking an hour each of their vows. And they both went, like, like Melissa at one point, she opens, she's like, I'm not good with words. And then proceeded to write one of the most fucking eloquent things I've ever heard in my life. Those two kids, bro, in love. Like, I, in my whole life, I don't think I've ever met two people where I'm like, oh my God, they're literally made for each other. As Melissa's, like, just saying these beautiful things to the man. And you, like, I believe it. I'm like, these kids are going to be together forever.